Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Hip Hop Classics collection from Lou It Yourself. There are nine polishes here. They are all holographics. These are available right now, so I will link the website down below where you guys can check these out, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Swan Lake, and this is a lighter gray holographic. So here's one coat. So this one is pretty sheer on the first coat. Formula wants to run a little bit down the sides of my nail, but not terrible. I am doing pretty thin coats to make sure that that's not an issue, though. So here's two coats. This one is still a bit sheer on the second coat. I can still see through to my nail line pretty well, so I'm going to do a third. It does seem to stick to itself a lot better than it sticks to the bare nail. I'm not having that issue where it wants to run on the second coat, so I think as long as you use base coat, you probably won't have that issue at all. So here's three coats. This dries very shiny as well. So there is three coats of Swan Lake. The next polish is called Breakdance Beach, and this is a nude holographic. So here's one coat. This one is also pretty sheer on the first coat. Formula feels about the same as the last one, smooth, easy to apply. But if you do too thick of coats, I think it could run. But like I said at the last one, I don't use base coat when I do these swatches, so I think if you use base coat, it should stick just fine and not have the issue of running. So here's two coats. This one is still a bit sheer on the second coat. Again, the formula is good, as long as you have it layered over a base coat or on the second coat when it's layered over itself. So here's three coats, and this one covers completely in three. This also dries really shiny, which is not something that you see often in holographics. They have a tendency to dry dull, at least indie ones do, so it's nice to see something dry so glossy. So there is three coats of Breakdance Beach. The next polish is called Body Movin', and this is a darker gray holographic. This almost has like a little bit of like a blue, like a blue-gray kind of tone to it. This is it next to Swan Lake, so you can see the difference in the color. So here's one coat. This one is also a bit sheer on the first coat. It's a little bit more opaque than the last two were on one coat, but it is still pretty sheer. Formula on this one is good, smooth, easy to apply, and it doesn't feel like it has that... Um, issue with running that the first two did also. So here's two coats. I can still see a bit of my nail line on this one on two, so I'm going to do a third. This one seems to have a much stronger holographic than the last two did as well. So here is three coats. This one covers completely in three. This is one that was really close to opaque in two, so I think depending on your application and your preference, you could probably get away with two with this one. So there is three coats of Body Movin'. The next polish is called Modern Man's Hustle, and this is a brighter green holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat. I can still see my nail line a bit, so I'm going to do two. Great formula on this one, just like the last one. Smooth, easy to apply, and it doesn't have any issues with running or pooling. So here's two coats. This one covers like 98% on the second coat. I can still see a tiny bit of my nail line, but I don't think it's enough to justify a third. Like the other ones so far in this collection, this one dries really shiny. I'm really impressed with how glossy these dry. So there is two coats of Modern Man's Hustle. The next polish is called Electric Relaxation, and this is a kind of cobalt blue holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat. It seems to have more of like a jelly-ish kind of base, so it's a little bit uneven, but the color is vibrant enough that I think you probably will only need two. Great formula on this one, just like the others. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two, and this is another one that dries very glossy. So there is two coats of Electric Relaxation. The next polish is called a 1-2, a 1-2, and this is a red holographic. It's showing up a little less red and a little like more on the pinky side on camera than it's looking to me in person. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It's a little bit lighter than what I have in the bottle though, so I am going to do a second. Again, great formula. Feels just like the last few. The first two were really the only ones that I thought had a little bit of a running issue. The rest of them so far have been great formula-wise. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two, and it does deepen the color to match what's in the bottle. This one also dries really shiny. So there is two coats of a 1-2, a 1-2. The next polish is called Say No Go, and this is a dark gray holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers really well in the first coat. 
I just have a couple streaks that I want to fill in, so I'm going to do a second. Great formula on this one. It is a little bit thicker than the rest in the collection. It's not too thick, it's just thicker. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. It was really close on one. I just had a few streaks. I don't know if you could get it completely opaque in one, though. I feel like you'd have to have a pretty thick coat to cover those streaks. So there is two coats of Say No Go. The next polish is called Definition, and this is like a dark denim blue holographic. So here's one coat. This one also covers really well on the first coat, just a little bit sheer still. Same formula as most of the others in the collection, super smooth, super easy to apply, no issues there. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. Dries shiny, just like the others. So there is two coats of Definition. And the last polish is called Dark Heart News, and this is a darker, kind of purpley red holographic. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer and a bit lighter than the color that's in the bottle on the first coat. Same great formula as most of the rest of the collection. So here's two coats. So this one covers completely in two, and two does deepen the color quite a bit. This one definitely has the strongest holographic of any of the others in the collection. So there is two coats of Dark Heart News. So my favorite here is Definition. I really like this deeper blue hollow. It's very appropriate for this time of year when it's starting to get really cold and really snowy. So I really like the color anyway, and it just helps that it's holographic. So this one is my favorite. So that is the Hip Hop Classics Collection from Do It Yourself. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the website down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.